So you have a Amazon Fire TV and you have an issue with the audio or sound. Maybe one of your apps is um, you have audio issues. Maybe it's like not in sync or maybe it's like delayed or maybe it sounds the, the, the sound sounds all like garbled. It doesn't matter if it's in one app or several apps or everything on the TV. Okay, I'm going to give you guys three options to get you up and running right now. By the end of this video, at least 80% of you guys should be back up and running. Okay. So first thing is this now, with your TV on, I want you to go ahead and pull the plug on it just like this. Wait 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, I want you to go ahead and plug it back in, turn your TV on, and then once it boots up, see if your audio is working correctly, okay? If not, we're gonna to go to step number two. So you still have an audio issue, so the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and restart the TV going through the settings. So. Go ahead and go to your home screen. You can click on the home button, go to the home page. Then we're gonna to go to settings. So move all the way over to the right. The settings is the little, the gear icon. And then from here, we're gonna go down and we're gonna look for device and software, okay? So look for device and software, click on that. And then from here, just go down to restart, okay? Click on restart, go over here, tap on restart. Once the TV is booted back up, See if your audio is working now. If not, we're gonna to go to the last step here. So if the first two options didn't work for you, then chances are this last third step's gonna work for you guys. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna clear the cache on all the apps, okay? So first thing is go back to your homepage again, click on the home button on the remote, and then we're gonna to go to settings, the gear icon, all the way to the right, right there. And now we're gonna go ahead and go down. Now what we're gonna do is look for applications, apps, okay? So my apps, or applications is right there. I'm gonna click on OK. And then from here, we're gonna go down to Manage Installed Apps. Click on OK. Now, so we gotta do, we have to go ahead and clear the cache on all of these apps, okay? So we're gonna go down to AirPlay right here. Now, we can see cache, I have something on there. It, we we wanna put the zero. I can see I have like 16.38 kilobytes. Go ahead and click on AirPlay, clear cache. Now it's cash is zero. Now go back. Now go to the next one. Here's Alexa Shopping. I've never even used this, but cash is 24.8 kilobytes. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK there. Go down to clear cash. And as soon as I do that, boom, cash is zero bytes. Go back. Now do this for every single app on here. Now once you do that, we need to go ahead and restart the TV again going through the settings. Okay, so once you clear the cash on all the apps, go back to your home page, click on the home button. And then we're going to go to the settings, the gear icon right there. We're going to go down. And now we're going to look for device and software right there. Device and software. Click on OK. And then from here again, we're going to go down to restart. Click on restart. Move over to the left. Click on restart. Once the TV boots back up, now see if your audio is up and running. If this worked for you, give me a thumbs up and let me know what step worked for you. If it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. All right? Good luck, guys.